I was uh, born and raised in a place called Independence on a uh, farm. I have a family of uh, three siblings, an uh, older sister, younger sister, and a younger brother. And my mom decided that it was time for her to go back to, back to school and become a nurse. Um, once she did that, um, <clears throat> kind of our, our whole life changed. For six years, I was the only girl of the entire family. And six years later, we had three little girls in our family, and I was just the mom. We actually rode the same bus going to school, and I always remember seeing her, and she was just this, this little old brat child that I was always the, the growing up in the back of the bus, and she was always kind of the, the, the one that got on. It was just the annoying one. My older sister became kind of the babysitter, and, and we worked a lot on the farm, and raised this, our foods that we had. I love the outdoors. I love to hunt. I love horses. Um, horses, I love training horses. I love dogs. We have five dogs and uh, we just love to go out and in, enjoy the outdoors. My mom is the youngest of six and my dad is the middle of three and the difference between their big family and their small family, I just always imagined that I'd have just a half dozen or a dozen of my own little kiddos. The, the whole time as you're younger, I've always wanted to, to go on a mission. I've always had a desire to serve a mission. And uh, so once the mission was over, it was kind of like, well, now what? We dated a little bit and we got serious and I fell head over heels for him and, and he proposed to me. Um, we talked a lot about what our plans were for the future and what we wanted. and. I asked him about kids because that's important to me. That's something that I have always wanted. And, and I asked him how many he wanted. And he said he was thinking between two and four. And I said, well, that's perfect. Because I was thinking between four and six. So maybe four is our number. Uh, fell in love with my best friend. <clears throat> and, uh, and then it was time to uh, start uh, Start, start my second mission, as, as my president would had, had called it. I used to tell my mom that I was going to adopt children because I didn't know that I'd be able to have children, and she would smile at me and tell me, someday you'll be able to have children and you'll, you'll forget about um, adoption because you'll have your children and you'll love them and they're part of you. We went to the doctor um, three months into our marriage and we were placed on um, medications right off the bat. Um, my doctor told me, Jamie, if you want to have a family, you're going to have to have help. We just started going to specialists and trying to continue to, to become pregnant and um, it just wasn't working. So we scheduled the procedure in August and we moved in with my mom. We started building a home. I forgot a lot of um, our stress. Uh, George and I really enjoyed each other. And it seemed like it was not even two months or a month after that, we found out that um, my wife became pregnant. And we were blessed with the most beautiful little boy. And I love my son so much. His name is George. He's George V. He is, he's an amazing kid. Um, he took a lot of my wife's traits. He's, he's very kind, very loving, and uh, uh, cares about everybody and cares about what people think of him. I mean, he's very, very, uh, a very good kid. Now Harry, Harry is eight years old and we can't have, it seems like we can't have any more kids. It's just kind of a, it's kind of a dead end, I guess. Little George uh, wasn't very big when he started noticing uh, babies. I remember there have been times that he has friends that are, their moms are gonna have a baby and he finds out about it and he'll tell everybody that he's gonna have a sister or brother too. Um, I have lots of people ask me if we're expecting or uh, if someone has, has, has approached us about um, adopting a baby because he, He's so eager and whenever he finds out someone's having a baby, he wants, he wants to have one as well. Recently though, um, he has become very aware of, of his cousins and their growing families and their baby sisters and brothers. Um, he prays, any prayer that he prays in the morning, at dinner, at bedtime, he prays um, to Heavenly Father that he might have lots of sisters and brothers or a baby sister or each time that he prays, he prays for a sibling. Um, uh, 
when I put him to bed a few nights ago, he... I, I've been telling him he's eight and he's a big boy and he doesn't need to sleep with mom and dad because we've kind of cuddled him and loved him so much because we, he's our everything. Um, but that can be hard when you start to get big and want to sleep in mom and dad's bed still. So uh, I was taking him back to bed and he told me, Mama, I just don't want to be lonely anymore. I want a sister or a brother, so I'm not alone. When I was his age, all I could think about was going out and playing outside and, and, and go out and saddle the horses and riding the horses and shooting guns, you know, with, with, with that, or go air gating. And, and all he can think about is, you know, it's like every day he talks about having a, a brother or, or, and a sister. And he talks about one day when I get married, I'm going to have a hundred kids. And I always tell him like, if you're going to do that, you better have a dang good job and one big house. It really is hard when you want something so bad, but it's even harder when your child wants something so bad and, and you can't quite give it to them right when they want it but I know that he's going to be an amazing big brother. My wife always talked about adopting, you know, and she always said that when she was younger, she always told her mom how she wanted to adopt her, that she felt like she was going to adopt, and I was always kind of like, I don't want to adopt. It seemed like I think two years went by. One morning I <clears throat> woke up, sat up in bed, and I just looked over at Jamie, and. And I, and I told her, I said, it, it's time. <clears throat> you know, this, this world is <clears throat> full of children that need help. And my, and my wife, she's, she is very loving and she has a lot of love to give. <clears throat> I just woke up and felt like, why am I being so prideful? There's, you know, there, there's nothing like having your own uh, having a child to, to care for and, and to love. It's, it's, it's a different kind of love. You, you love your, your wife, but man, when you, when you have a child, you, it's a different kind of love. And I, I know that I can love someone else's child that way. 